transformation of the mind. Yes. Not accept things as they are. No. But to understand it, to go into it, to examine it. Yes. Give your heart and your mind with everything that you have to find out. It's a way of living differently. Yes. But that depends on you and not somebody else. Because in this there is no teacher. And you yeah. bring about a transformation of the mind. Yes. Not accept things as they are. No. But to understand it, to go into it, to examine it. Yes. Give your heart and your mind with everything that you have to find out. Daddy. So we are so living different. So so yes. That depends on you and not somebody else. Because in this there is no teacher, no yes. pupil. There is no leader. Ah. There is no guru. There's no master, yeah. no savior. You yourself yeah. are the teacher and the pupil. You are the master, you are the guru, you are the leader. You are everything. <laughs> everything. To understand Picasso told me. is to transform what is. Picasso told me, your art is all phony. Soledad on me, art all around me. Use it as a weapon, nigga. Show them about the star systems. Saturn with my pattern. Reverse all around me. Stars will announce me. I'm let some more people come in for a couple seconds. If you're in the building, I saw a couple of y'all. Keep, keep them comments coming. I will start soon. Let me know y'all can hear me. Peace, Emma. Saturn with my pattern. Reverse when you're around me. Stars will announce me. Planets will announce me. Count me up to six. Words be the dope man. Come. Could take a seven, huh? Purple Cloud, what's up? Birdman P. Asking a mixer. Oh, what a tangled web niggas weaving. Twisting up they meaning. Brooklyn House to Callen. Nine floor styling. Real nigga rapping. PLO. Now, Nigel P. Corn Girl P. Another cat. Old true bastards. Old dirty masters. School me to the car. All right, I see y'all coming in the building. These are blackberries. Good vitamin K. If you're a dude, get your penis. Put your penis in a Washington Monument mode. <laughs> in check in Oblix mode. Philip, what's going on? Homegirl with VA. Okay, my sister's in VA. Alicia, Oakland, and his house. I used to live in Oakland. I got special affinity for Oakland. Shit, way triller, way more gorillas. Gotta be silly. Childish, but not like child. Childish, but not childlike. You heard? Don't forget your soul. Alicia, what's poppin'? Nashville. Nashville, what's going on? People, my nano. Connections and reflections. I'm the one that's next to. I'm the one that's next to. Come on, people, some time come in. Cut you up like Dexter. Chillers all around you. Applying all this pressure. The devil is a plan, man. Made by a man, man. Made by the God, man. Take over the land, land. You could do the living. If you're in the building, hit the comments. Miss P, Chicago, Chi Town, what's going on? Cleaning up they building, listening to pillars. The shit is just the hellers. Chi Town and shows. There's enough for y'all in here. Gamble out in Rio. Black man soprano. Black keys, white keys. Swiss my piano. Peep all my nano. Connections and reflections. And I'm the one that's next. And I'm the one that's next to twin dunk. Stay with me, I'm tearing up these blueberries right now. Left this world with Alabama, what's going on, Sean? Blueberries. Two dollars. Oh, good. Oh, welcome. You're in for a treat, Alicia. Okay. Let me bring up guns and roses. And to stop war. Different is concerned with the whole process of living. Examine it. Yes. Bring about a transformation of the mind. Yes. Not accept things as they are. No. no. But to understand it, to go into it, to examine it. Yes. Give your heart and your mind with everything that you have to find out. The way of living differently. Yes. But that depends on you and not somebody else. Because in this, there is no teacher, no yes. pupil, there is no leader. Uh, There's no guru. There's no master, yeah. no savior. You yourself yeah. are the teacher and the pupil. You are uh, the master. You are the guru. You are the leader. 
you are. You are everything. Peace. Peace. Peace, power, and prosperity, family. What's up, y'all? Welcome to those who are new to Catching Alive. Welcome to those who are new who have recently subscribed. I see the numbers going up. Shout out to y'all. Um, great goddess, I think. Great goddess. Great goddess, too. Um, hit me on... Um, Hit me on um, hit me on IG. I got something for you. All right, you've been doing a lot of work helping me with the chat shop. So hit me on IG. I got something for you. Um, hit me on IG on my messenger, or hit me on Facebook or email. Whatever you whatever you got, hit me because I want to give you. I want to give back because you be supporting me. Um, with the cash shop. Um, if you want to donate, dollar sign Rob Blackstorm. Dollar sign Rob Blackstorm seven. Um, what we're gonna get into tonight is we're gonna get into the Cabalion. We're going to get into Freemasonry, and we are going to get into a little bit of the Kabbalah, and we're going to get into how this all relates to the here and now, okay? So, um, shout out to the family, Alexis, shout out to y'all, shout out to the family. Yeah, y'all can build amongst each other in the chat. Um, so, we are going to start how we always start, if you know, with this channel. Um, especially lately, I try to stop the cosmos. So let's get into it. Let's see what the stars are saying and touch a little bit. Um, as you guys know, 33 hertz. If you don't know, somebody will tell you in the comments, all right? Um, but we're riding that 33 hertz wave as usual. Okay, we're going to get into a little Trumpy. All right, a little Trumpy action. We don't need that since I found the music. All right, so let's start with basically today, okay? I don't know why it's bringing me back. Why? I'm trying to show y'all all my business. <laughs> mm, mm, all right, hold up. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Y'all yeah, need to know all my business now. All right. Although I am some Sun and Scorpio, Moon and Gemini, for the record. Um, so my, my expression is in this time period right now, being that we are still in Gemini. So this is probably why I am kind of going so hard. If you've been following me, seeing my old videos, you know that the way I'm delivering. Messages have changed, not only because it's live, but also my spirit has changed. My spirit has been re-energized in these times. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for trusting in me. Thank you guys for following along. Um, you know, get your screenshots ready, your pen and your pad, um, and you know, you know how I give it up. All right, and I'm gonna do some more of that tonight. So, we're in waxing grass crescent mood in Gemini, as you guys may have may not already know. We are in the Mercury retrograde. Okay, um, we discussed Mercury retrograde on Tuesday, so check out the last video that I did. Um, deep dived into that a little bit as far as communication. Mercury rules communication. Mercury rules technology and Mercury also uh, communication, technology, and uh, ooh, drawing a blank. Give me one second. Uh, travel, communication, technology, and travel. So those are the three things that Mercury rules. So right now, those three things can be going wacky you know over the next couple of weeks mercury retrograde usually lasts about three weeks and it's about four weeks during the year uh four times sorry during the year but it usually lasts three weeks so we've already had a mercury retrograde i believe in april um so this is the second one uh two more is coming so be prepared uh, but this one is going to be interesting because it's running into the uh solar eclipse that is happening on sunday okay but let's get into it Let's, so we did deep dive. I'm not going to waste too much time. I don't want to be doing these three hour panic lectures. So let's deep dive. Somebody in the chat will show you where to go. Now, we are in a waning crescent moon in Gemini. So again, our basic instinct is to communicate, think and learn under the influence of the moon in Gemini. We are motivated by our desire for variety and by instinctive curiosity. The moon in Gemini is lighthearted, breezy and curious, but it can also be restless and fickle. Sociability, cheerfulness, and quick wittiness are on the rise, and there is an interest in all kinds of information. The moon in Gemini favors study, intellectual pursuits, acquaintances, conference, and gatherings. However, heightened changeability and scattering your interests can prevent you from getting definite, tangible results. Okay, so basically what this is telling you is you got to be focused, all right? 
especially with the moon and the influence that we are in. Even though it is a waning moon, people say, you know, you're not supposed to do magic, you're not supposed to do spell work on waning moons. I disagree. I think you have to know what you're doing during the uh, waxing moon, which is when the moon is when the moon is new going into full, and on the waning moon when the moon is losing its power. But this week we're going into a solar eclipse, so the energy and the frequency is high. What you communicate, what you say out of your mouth, make sure that it is within balance. And what do I mean within balance? As it says here in the bottom, heightened changeability and scattering your interest can prevent you from getting definitive, tangible results. Okay, that's magic. Okay, Alicia, so you down with me, Moon and Gemini. Okay, so that's magic. Okay, getting definite, tangible results. Now you're gonna have a lot of people who don't listen to Rob Black Storm, who don't follow. You know, the stars, the cosmos, who are what I call just regular people, right? Background players to your video game. Just like when you play The Sims and there's people in the back of, your, of, the, of the game that have nothing to do, or you play Grand Theft Auto and people are in the back of the game and have nothing to do, and in Grand Theft Auto you might beat their ass or whatever and carjack. That's what you have to look at other people as. Doesn't mean that they're bad, doesn't mean that we hate them, doesn't mean that they're our enemies, but it does mean that what it does mean that um everyone is not on the same page and everyone doesn't have the same agenda right everyone is not looking at the world from a third eye perspective or from a third eye view and i also want to say this um because a lot of people are unemployed a lot of people are struggling financially you know i put some spells out there i put some things out there for you but definitely if you're looking for something or don't be afraid to you know work don't be afraid to get your hands dirty but definitely don't be afraid to even if you're working and getting your hands dirty follow your dreams like there's I, I mean i say this i think every video this is the best of best year 2020 vision right most people started off their year with that term 2020 vision this is the best time in the world the best this is probably I, and I know you're probably saying, no, it's not COVID. You know, maybe you have lost a family member or a friend, you know, rest in peace to them. But as I always say, you know, when you have a loss, it's your job. It's your job to carry on their memory. And if you really did love them, they don't want you sitting in grief and they don't want you. Um, and this I know this just from ancestral communication and from divination that I do. They don't want you to just be wailing and grief they want to live through you like they want to see life through your eyes your ancestors want to see life through your eyes remember you have 70 trillion cells in your body this is not this is not something i'm making up you have 70 trillion cells that vibrate according to the words you say the way you think and your outlook on life so you always want to put the best energy out in the universe that you can all right now of course we all see hardships we all have ups and downs Again, if you look on my page last year towards the winter and stuff like that, I was going through it. I was going through ups and downs, lefts and rights, <laughs> uppercuts, right hooks, body slams. OK, last year after like the summer or like late summer, it, it was rough. I was going through it. Um, but I also shared my struggles with you all and told you all to keep your head up. I told you all different techniques that I'm that I use, different techniques that you can use, you know, my job is to raise the vibration on the planet and to find solutions so you that should be your job too your job should be to find solutions to your problems don't wallow in your problems also to touch on this a little bit man we'll get into you know the juicy stuff the the cabalion and the freemasonry but um just to touch on this a little bit uh right now on social media what i'm seeing now because the stores are opening back up right a black woman got killed recently, um, just random, and they're hanging black men still, right? So, the, so it's still going down, you know? Crazy stuff is still happening. And after this Trump declaration, it's going to get worse, you know? Yeah, the riots have stopped, the violence has stopped, but shit is still going down negatively, right? And nothing has really happened positively for the black community. But chokehold law, like, companies posting black lives matter like, like just don't want you to not spend with them <laughs> you know what i'm saying they just don't want you to not spend with them, that the governor is not doesn't want to do that you know they're also talking about these new covid outbreaks speaking of that and be careful with these covid outbreaks and be careful with this covid outbreak talk right 
The best thing you could do, two things. A, mind your own business. And what I mean your own business is you and your family's business. Don't get caught up in the world. Be in the world, but not of the world. So mind your own business. Second thing, build your motherfucking immune system. I keep saying it. If you're eating bullshit still, if you are not getting your body prepared for war, you will be lost. We live in a Thanos snap right now. This is the Thanos snap. Remember what Thanos said, 50% will be lost, okay? The 50% that will be lost will be those that choose themselves, okay? If you want to get caught in the second wave of COVID, keep eating the bullshit. Keep eating the burgers. Keep eating the fucking heavy meals. Keep not exercising. Keep watching TV, blah, 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 blah. You will suffer the consequences, okay? You can get caught up in the second wave of COVID. Don't think that people are not dying from COVID. It's real. And your ass might go there and get tested. When you get in the test, they injecting you with the COVID. Okay? This is a possibility. Okay? They may make it mandatory where you got to get tested for the COVID. And when you get injected, boom, they give you the COVID. All right? Now what? Do you, is your body able to fight it off? Okay? Are you drinking chlorophyll? Are you, um, you know, drinking certain tea? Are you studying your body? What feels good to your body after you eat a certain meal? If you feel heavy after you eat a certain meal, do you feel light? Are you studying your diet? Are you studying what you're taking in? Are you paying attention to what you're listening to? It's all you're feeding yourself QAnon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? QAnon and, and Obama's the devil and pedophilia. And again, all these things are real. I'm not saying that they're not real. I'm not saying that Hillary Clinton and them don't eat baby blood and eat babies and drink baby blood and adrenochrome. I'm not saying that the heads of state are not involved in that. I'm not saying that there's not deep state plots with them transporting children underground. I'm not saying none of that isn't real. What I am saying is, okay, look at this. It's gossip. Okay. Cause what are you niggas going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. You know about the pizza gate. Okay. You know about the sex trafficking ring. If you think Trump is your savior, and I said this before, you are a fool, okay? Because he doesn't give a fuck about you. He gives a fuck about his rich friends and the ones that are the neo-Nazis with him. That's it. And you'll see Trump, if you get to go against him because he's a King Joffrey, even if you're a neo-Nazi, he's still going to dismiss you if you go against him because he's a King Joffrey archetype. Game of Thrones, King Joffrey archetype. That's it, okay? So you can't look at no white man can be your hero in 2020. Somebody put that in the comments. No white man could be your hero in 2020. And the black, brown, and Spanish ones, you got to watch too. Okay? You got to watch too. Because again, and again, I try to be, I'm solution oriented. I know all this stuff, QN and this, this, that. Boom. What are you going to do? What's the end, what's the end result? You're going to post about it? You're going to hashtag it? You're going you're gonna, to uh, post whatever, post it, and that's it and get people up angry and get people upset, but there's nothing you could do about it. There's nothing you are going to be able to do about it personally. So mind your own business, okay? If there comes a point where you could get there, you will be okay. But no white man can he be a hero, yo. It's impossible for you to look at either, um, either one of them, either one of them. Creepy Joe, who's a pedophile in the flesh, go look at Creepy Joe touching, touching all these kids, touching women, okay? for years in plain sight, the way he touches them, the way he looks at them, look at his body language, Joe Biden, and you gonna go to the polls and vote for that man? Are you crazy? Now people say, oh, a vote for you, don't vote for Joe Biden, you're voting for Trump. Well, guess what? Whether Trump's in the office, whether Obama, whether Joe Biden, whether The Rock, whether Snoop Dogg, whether Jay-Z, whether Missy Elliott, whether Beyonce, whoever's in that motherfucking White House, guess what? You are still the president of your life you like i said in that in an opening song what the guru said you are in control of your life you're the president of your life so whoever's in there you have to adjust the best animal or the person that survives is the one that is able to adapt to change that's how you evolve if you are able to adapt to change we're in a technological era so you got to learn technology right now say Say if you didn't, you know, you 40s and 50s, you're not adapted to technology, then you're lost. OK, you're lost. You're believing what's on CNN. You're believing what's on the news. OK, so, yeah, vote local. I, I, I 
purely 100% down with voting local. I vote locally, right? But for presidents and all these puppets out here, man, let them, let them, let, let them, let the masses do the masses and let them go out there and feel like they need a new slave master, okay? Because no matter who's in office, whether you think it's Trump or whoever, what's going to happen is what's going to happen. And you, Trump or Biden, you got to control your own life. There's never been a president in my years of existence that has ever done shit for me tangible that I could say, okay, this person has done that for me, me and my family, nobody. So again, just to, so I just want to illustrate that. Now, heightened changeability, okay, and scattering your interest. And another thing that's going on on the internet. Now, remember, we are in Mercury retrograde, but we're also in a Venus retrograde, right? So people are going back into the past, people are going back into their past hurt, people are going back into their past triggers. Now, that is supposed to happen, okay? You're supposed to go back into your past hurts. You're supposed to go back into your past triggers. You're supposed to reevaluate yourself. This is something, honestly, you should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis or at least every week you're on a Sunday or a Friday or whatever, you know, in, in analyzing what happened, what's going on in your day, what's going on in your week, you know, writing it down, journaling if that's what you want to do. You know, some people are good just doing it in their head, evaluating each day before they go to bed, right? But you should be analyzing your life. You shouldn't just be walking around in life like as the wind blows. You should have a plan. You should have things that you want to achieve, goals that you want to mend. Me doing this on YouTube, getting to this point, going live on YouTube, this is one of my goals, okay? So I've achieved the goal. There's And there's other goals that I have achieved as well and that I will continue to achieve. But you got to have some goals apart from many. But anyway, people are going back into different things, right? They're not, even though Jupiter's retrograde, they ain't talking about luck and abundance, right? They're going back into their triggers. They're going back into their pain. They're going back into what's wrong. So I see a lot of women, especially. Again, I love women, so I'm not going against women. I love women, but I see a lot of women going back into the triggers. Black men are this. Black men don't protect us. I even seen a meme um, that said, we're fighting three fights. Um, COVID, uh, racism, and black men. And I'm like, yo, really? Like, <laughs> like you're going to divide and conquer us even more? Like, this is the sentiment that you want to put on the internet around these times when people are getting hung, when people are getting shot, when constitutional rights are being eroded and people are still in jail from protesting that shouldn't be in jail, when they've erased Miranda laws and all that, and you, ignorant you, want to come on the internet and divide and conquer because a young lady got killed. You felt like she wasn't protected. And let me say something about this too. If you're spewing all this negative, this negative information about black men, but you want us to protect you, you are speaking into existence that black men aren't going to protect you. You are speaking into existence that men aren't going to protect you. You are speaking into existence that you won't find a good man. You are speaking into existence that you won't find a good partner. You are speaking into existence that even the business partners, people that can help you, people that will finance you, people that will give you money for nothing, what they call a sugar daddy, right? People that will aid you. You are saying that you don't want that to happen, that that's not you. Instead of you using this Venus retrograde time to process, to process your pain and trauma, whether you, it's been sexual assault, whether it's been physical assault, whether it's been domestic abuse, whether it's been abuse in the household, we all got different stories, right? And we all got different pain. There's not one person on the planet that doesn't have a painful story about someone of the other race or the other, I'm sorry, of the other gender. I got plenty Look, if I want to talk about femininity and toxic femininity, you know, I could have a whole two hour lecture about that. OK, <laughs> you know, straight up, I could talk about toxic femininity all day. I got examples. I got proof. I got charts. OK, this is a fact. This is a fact. But my job is not to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I got issues. I'm going to tell you. I'm, let me let me let y'all in a little bit. I got I got I had. Let me say that I had issues with my daughter's mother. One of my daughter's mothers, right? I had issues with her. But in my mind, my process is that, boom, I'm going to reprogram this. So what I do, like I tell y'all, first 15 minutes of the day, last 15 minutes of the day, most important times of the day. So in these times, I process my interact interaction with them. 
You know what I'm saying? How how I envision dealing with them, how I envision seeing them, how I envision them in, interacting with me. And slowly but surely, you know, they come along as and now things are a little better. You know, one not so much, but one a lot better, you know, and be surprised because the one I would think wouldn't be a lot better. It's a lot better than the one that I thought would be a lot better. Right. But people have to do their own thing. And sometimes, right, when you're trapped in trauma, you don't see how you could heal. So being that people are in Venus retrograde right now, a lot of women are, are going back and they're going back into, and I'm sure a lot of men, they're just not vocalizing it, but they're going back into their trauma. They're going back into their relationship pain. That's a Venus significator. They're going back into these things that hurt them. And it doesn't make sense. Okay. This is not the time for that. This is not the time for anybody black to be divided. Okay, we all need to come into alignment. And personally, I'll tell you, I have protected women on the New York Transit number of times. Okay, number of times from crazy. And not only black women, all women of all colors on New York Transit going back and forth to work dozens of times. Never posted it, never spoke on it because, again, man, Malcolm told me man's job is to protect and provide. That's what Malcolm X told me when I read when I read his book as a child. Okay, so I've always had that in my head and I've seen my father goodness protect and provide so i know that's what a man and i've seen my stepfather protect and provide you know in certain capacities so i was you know blessed with the opportunity to see men play their role and play their role as men properly everybody wasn't able to see that everybody didn't have fathers like that and i get that but i say that i'll say all this to say be careful what you're tapped into be careful what frequency that you allow like it says here, again, heightened changeability and scattering your interest can prevent you from getting definitive, tangible results. Okay, so this is what we're in. All right, so sociability, cheerfulness, and quick-wittedness are on the increase. Sociability, are you networking with people that are trying to get something or trying to achieve something that you can learn something from that inspire you? Cheerfulness, what type of joy? Are you watching things that are funny? Do you have friends around you that are funny? Do you have people that you could call and laugh with, right? Quick wittedness, funny, quick witted people. I love quick witted people. I love funny people. I love sociable people. Even though I could go into hermit mode once I'm around people, I am very sociable, if you know me. All right. But when I'm home, I'm pretty much in hermit mode. But that's because using home, home is my temple. This is my temple. So I come in here, study, do what I got to do, you know, get myself right. But again, you want to get yourself to a point where. You are, and there is an interest in all kinds of information, okay? So how you use this moon in Gemini is totally up to you. How you use this energy is totally up to you. How you use the solar eclipse energy is totally up to you. And the key thing is, I'm seeing women that are, quote, unquote, spiritual and righteous talking as talk, getting caught up in these triggers of men not protecting them. Why do you want a man to protect you, but at the same time, you're saying men ain't shit? Why do you want a black man to protect you? But at the same time, you're saying black men don't protect me. So your spell work is off. OK, and this goes for men, too, who are thinking the same way. If you're saying women ain't shit and women ain't that and women at this, guess what? That's going to be your reality. And you're going to keep continuously meeting women that aren't shit because you're an electromagnetic being. OK, so that's the energy that we're in. So, again, I'm all about riding waves of frequency. Brain waves, sound waves, and light waves. Okay, brain waves, sound waves, and light waves. Waves of frequency, and these waves of frequency are di dictated uh, by planetary influence. But you don't, you don't fall victim to the planetary influence. You utilize the planetary influence to your benefit. You are gods. You are the president. You are the king. You are the emperor. You are the pharaoh. You are the guru. You are the priest. You are everything. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, we'll get into, um, I want to just kind of prove some to a little bit of boy. Now, like I told y'all, okay, if you've been following me, y'all already know what's up. This came, okay, this just came out. This is, when I saw this, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I was like, damn, I just talked about this. I've been talking about this for a couple weeks now, okay? So here it is, all right, Nazi era imagery. All right, this symbol, you could look on my, um, on my Instagram. I have it where they, where they talk about, I'm not just going to get deep into it, but I told you, homie is a Nazi, okay? He's Hydra inside the government. And like I said, the government was initially about Freemasonry. So let's get into the free 
masonry part of of the government and what it was initially taken from which is the commission mystery school all right if y'all still fucking with me type a one a one 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 play this i love this i love this part i love this part of the song this this is um a rashid my guy oh it's not playing right now it's all right y'all there still type of one if y'all there okay 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 oh and real quick this is um hitler's cross okay so this is basically a book that deals with um hitler it deals with reese what's going on reese um it deals with uh so hitler's cross how we use and then look yeah i mean come on i'm not making none of this up how the cross was used to promote the nazi agenda okay so i told you about hitler's bible go back and look at that video again i'm just proving my point all right so just because somebody uses the bible doesn't mean that they're christian all right so let's get into let's get into this um so guy what's going on never seen you in the comments but welcome to the family all right so let's get into this okay so this is what they would give the enter the apprentice um, upon becoming a base mason a free masonry now as as i said i'm just going to recap some of y'all who've been watching me already know what um we've been talking about um as far as free masonry now remember i told y'all if you go back to my avengers endgame video i told y'all captain america is america under freemasonry I told you that AU on his head represents Orsair, and I showed you how Orsair is red, white, and blue, right? And Orsair activated is green, okay? So activated just means like when the Avatar's eyes, and Avatar the light, light as Airbender's eyes light up, you know, when, um, you know, Goku is, is charging himself up, you know, ready, getting ready to fight. When Luke Skywalker is, before he defeats Darth Vader, you know, gets down. What's up, Michael? I, don't, I never met you. Never saw you before. Welcome. Um, and puts his knee down. Okay, so you being charged or you being activated is just like you being angry, but angry for a righteous purposes, right? And by righteous, could be self defense. Uh, could be people just fucking with you, and you had enough, and it's time to react, right? Which is what the youth did. And regardless of whether you think it's staged or not staged, you know, of course, there's parts of it that are staged. There's parts of it that are antifa led there's parts of it that are george soros led there's parts of it that are influenced by the blm all that is true but the fact is it happened right and the fact is that shit is mobilizing um but the fact is corporations are trying to are starting to pay attention so again this is all galactic like this is all cosmic this has nothing to do with george soros ain't got nothing to do with this he he ain't bigger than the stars he's not bigger than the cosmos um, but anyway, getting back to this. So I told y'all Captain America represented American Freemasonry. Now, American Freemasonry is taken from uh, the commission uh, mystery schools, the mystery schools of Kemet or the mystery schools of Egypt. This is where all this stuff that y'all scared of, that they telling y'all is devil worship. All this shit is commission. It's commission. Even the Kabbalah, which is really the second wave of this, we're not gonna go. I'm not gonna go too deep because this will be a three-hour lecture. But even the Kabbalah is Kamishan. It's Kemetic. Okay, Hermes Trismegistus. Actually, before I'm supposed to go in the Kabbalah first. We'll get back. But I'm just gonna do an um. If you're in here, please hit that like button. All right, hit that like button. If you're not going to donate, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Well, it's 20 something now in here, so there should be 20 something likes. Okay. I know I'm providing a decent service. Oh, sorry about the eating. <laughs> I got the headset on, so I'm thinking y'all can't hear it so easily. Sorry about that. I'll stop. Thank you for letting me know. See, that bolus is needed. Any, no one's above correction. Not even myself. Okay, so I appreciate you telling me that because I wouldn't know. So the Kabbalion is. All right, so this is the book, the Kabbalion. Without going deep into it, 
Um, some of you may already be familiar with this. All right. You see, it says hermetic philosophy. No, my nigga. Hermetic comes from this person named Hermes Trismegistus. This is, okay, good. Yes, uh, today, this is, so this is one of the reading materials you want to get, okay? The Kabbalion. The Kabbalion is something that, and, and you see it says here, the three initiates, okay? Why does it say the, why does it say three initiates? These three initiates were initiates into the Kemetic Mystery School, okay? Kabbalion is the Kabbalah, okay? It's just a different spelling. So Kabbalion, Kabbalah. Same shit, different name. Kermetic is no, there's no, Hermetic is supposed to be coming from Hermes or Hermes Trismegistus. The Greeks called thought, or uh, what we call Tahuti, uh, Hermes. And, but Hermes never existed. Hermes Trismegistus is a false narrative. It's some shit made up. It's just like Ronald McDonald, Donald Duck, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> you know, Mickey Mouse. Okay, Hermes Trismegistus never existed. There's no such thing as hermetic nothing. Hermetically sealed is really should be called comedically sealed. All right, just like chemistry, just like chemical, right? Just like hours for horrors or, or heru, right? So all these things are stolen, stolen legacy. You know what I'm saying? The three initiates were initiates in the Comitian Mystery School. Okay, so this is an excellent beginner book that um is is this is an excellent beginner book going into that. So the Kabbalion is dealing with that. So the Kabbalion, Kabbalah, Hermetic, Kemetic, okay, all stolen. So it's all stolen. So this is what. So getting back to this. So this is what we gave people that were coming into into uh into the Nile Valley region, right, north and south. Africa was united in Kemet. Um, magic really started in the Congo, but we're not going to get into it. Civilization really started in the Congo, but I won't get into that now. Uh, but the three initiates were people that were coming into the mystery, getting initiated into the mystery school. So they came up with these laws. That's why there's a pyramid here. Okay? Same pyramid that's on your dollar bill. Where you see pyramids? You see pyramids in different parts of the world, but where the first pyramid was? It was the pyramid that was in the center of the earth, the Great Pyramid. They're both in Africa, okay? And again, Africa was once a one landmass, Pangaea. So everything was one landmass, okay? So um, let's see, Kabbalion. I just want to see, okay, Kabbalion laws. They should have. So let's just get into this, and then we're going to get. But these things are basic, basic principles, okay? Wait, let me see if I could pull this up to make it bigger. Not really, but we'll work with what we can. All right, so this says mentality. We'll start with the first one. So everything is mental. The all is mind, the universe is mental, okay? So if you do some deep diving to scientists, um, I believe his name is uh, Louis Gates, uh, but a lot of new scientists have come out, especially white ones, even though Louis Gates said it first, and I might be saying his name wrong, um, but he said in a, he was in a speech with a bunch of prominent scientists, including um, the other black scientists, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is an idiot, right? He's an idiot. <laughs> and now I'm not saying he's not smart when it comes to Tyson, you know, or speak and use our great grandiose verbosity, right? It doesn't mean that they're really smart. It doesn't mean that they're tapped into spirit because... That's all memory. I could learn a whole bunch of words and regurgitate them and sound very well and sound great and sound like I know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, but if you could peek behind the veil of words, which are really spells, spelling, words are spells, spelling. John one one in the beginning was the word and the word was God. Not and again the Bible is just uh, pieces of people's other people's cultures and religions and traditions combined combined into one. The Biblos, right? Many books. Bible is, means many books. Okay, so all is so. I lost my thought. But all is mine. The universe. So everything. Oh, that's where I was going. So everything in this universe is really just code. 
is really just binary symbols, what they call a Dinkra symbol, right? And you could look that up, the Akan tribe, and this is what Dr. Gates already said. The Matrix told you also, the movie The Matrix told you that we exist in a world that's created that only exists through our able to um to touch to our five senses, right? Hearing, smell, sight, touch, taste, right? And also the sixth sense, which would be intuition, right? And the seventh sense, which they don't talk about, which is lightning, which is your electric e etheric body. But we won't get into that, right? Today. But we are going, so you have you really have seven senses. Two of them you can't see. They're not physical, so science doesn't tell you. Science doesn't tell you intuition. Your knowing your gut is a sense, but it's a motherfucking sense, okay? And science doesn't tell you when you're activated spiritually to do great things, when you feel inspired that that is a sense also, okay? You're like, you are, we are all like flowers. We're all like trees. We correspond to things that give us light, things that give us light, just like a tree, and things that water us, help us grow and branch out, just like a tree, right? Things that don't cause us to close in, die, die off slow, get disease, just like a tree that doesn't get enough light and sun, and wither and fall back and not branch out. So, the all is mental, the universe is mental, this world of five senses is not world. We live in a three-dimensional world and we're actually moving into the fifth dimension. So the law of mentality is basically stating that this universe is a projection that is perceived by this world is basically what you could perceive by the electrical signals that are interpreted by your brain. When you die, you will all go back to stardust or you will come back and be uh, you'll come back and be um, reprocessed, okay, as another kid and come back and do it all over again. Everyone that incarnates here is not here to be rich. Everyone that incarnates here is not meant to have a bunch of girls or a bunch of guys. Everyone that incarnates here is not meant to live till 40, 50, 70, 80. Look at Spock, right? Rest in peace to the ancestor. His birthday was yesterday. 25 years, look how much he did, you know? Look how much he did. Martin died young. Malcolm died young. But look at the impact that they had on the world. So your incarnation may not be to be the richest person in the world. Your incarnation may not be to have the, the husband or the wife or the best car or this, you know, whatever 3D shit that you think is important, right? But the most important thing is your mind, right? Because the universe is mental and it corresponds to how you think. It corresponds to your vibration. The more you trust in, and have faith, as you see, there's a circle. So this is the Kabbalah pretty much just shorthanded for you. Correspondence. As above, so below. As below, so above. So you're hearing about the parallel universe talk, right? There's parallel universe. They're talking about galaxies are nearer than before. They're talking about they're seeing suns that are 30 million times brighter. Go on my Instagram page. I posted some of the, I posted the articles, all right? So... There, and you could just look this shit up yourself. It's on the internet, right? I'm not telling you nothing that's not there. So as above, so below. So if there's drama here on Earth, then it means there's drama in all the other universes that are out there, right? And there's many universes. So, and also, if you think it here as above, so below. So if you think it here, it will manifest there. So what they call karma or is not karma, like, for instance, if you steal it, if you're hungry and you steal a candy bar from the store, even if you're not hungry, you just steal a candy bar from the store. The law of correspondence has nothing to do with that, right? It's just saying that um, if something is terrestrial or if something is something that you could see on the ground, for instance, if you see chaos, you know, be careful because that chaos is also people's heads as well, above, so below. So the law of correspondence, probably not the best breakdown, but get the book. All right. Vibration. We all should know what vibration is. If you follow me, frequency, nothing rests, everything moves, everything's vibrates. So even in your sleep, your heart is beating. So you're always moving, you're always vibrating. You have multi um, you know, microorganisms that crawl across your body within you within your cells and all that. Mites and all type of shit that you can't even see that are existing on you right now. See, and also your polarity. Okay. Let's see what polarity. Everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has a pair of opposites. Like and unlike are the same. Okay? Like and unlike are the same. 
it's just a remember I told you there's no such thing as good and bad. It's just different poles of energy. You could shed light or you could bring lightning. You could be a person that stays in the dark and works in the shadows. You could be a person that goes in the light and works in you know, just works outside, does not doesn't hide in the shadows. You could work with dark energy, you could work with light energy, right? There's different frequencies of magic, just like there's different frequencies of people. So it's the same thing. But all right, so opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet. All truths are but half truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. Okay. All right. So the law of gender. The law of gender. Um, gender is in everything. Everything has a masculine and feminine principle, which is why it's stupid to be beefing about men versus women and women versus men about this time, because everything has a gender, right? Uh, daytime is masculine, nighttime is feminine, okay? Just to give you an example, water is feminine, fire is masculine, okay? So there's different, there's gender even in nature. There's gender in everything. Everything has this masculine and feminine. Everybody who's gay, whatever, you know, you're part of LBG2, uh, plus, 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 whatever it is, you know, I don't care personally. I don't care what you do with your penis or what you do with your vagina in your private. And if you're led to this lifestyle because of past trauma, you know, now is really the time to look at and examine is that what you really want? And if you're still unhappy living this lifestyle, then you want to look at and analyze what you want. Okay? What you really want. And also, if you are, you know, on that wave or whatever, it's cool. Again, I don't care. But make sure that your expression is one of these poles. You know what I'm saying? Don't be all, you know, I'm, I'm genderless. That doesn't exist. You have a, even in your brain, you got two different polarities in your brain. You have a left brain and a right brain, right? So you got to pick a side. <laughs> and you could be fluid or whatever if you want to be fluid, but just know your center. Okay, if that's the way you live, and you gay and lesbian or whatever, and you fluid, but you got to have a center. One of these poles got to be what it is. Okay, and that's all I'll say on that. All right, next is the law of rhythm. Okay, so everything has rhythm. Everything has ups and downs. Things are going to flow. You're going to have good times. You're going to have bad times. You're going to have ups. You're going to have downs. Um, everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides. All things, well, you can't really see this, but all things rise and fall. The pendulum swing manifests in everything. All right. So basically, this is saying the pendulum's going to swing. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days again. Your people are going to do you right. People are going to do you wrong. You're going to get played by somebody sometime. So most of the times, you're not going to get played, right? Well, you could get played, you could not get played. This is just life. Life is a rhythm. Life is yin and yang. There's no escaping that. The only way of escaping it is being right here. Being in the middle. Okay? Realizing that both things shall happen, but still have focus. Still have a third eye view. Still having your vision. Still having your goal. Still having your freak generating your frequency. Still generating your vibration. Still following your own path. So when these things happen, yeah, you may feel negative and you may have a rough day. You may feel sad or hurt or whatever, but you always know you got to get back to this. And yeah, you may have good days and great days. You may be happy and joyful and just feel abundant, you know, but still always going back to this. Always staying in the middle path, never picking a side. The only side you want to pick is the side of truth. That's it, the tide of truth in the situation. If the situation calls for violence, then so be it. If the situation calls for peace, so be it. If the situation calls for me to say, fuck out of here and fuck you, so be it. If the situation calls for me to be like, man, let me be easy with this situation. Look, I'm, look, babe, I'm sorry, I apologize, all right? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, I, you're right. You told me about putting my, my socks on the floor all these times, and I, I should have, you know, you're right. You're, I, I hear you, babe, I, I, I'll move my socks next time, all right? And then going back to the center, okay? So, or, God damn, you keep telling me about these socks. Why don't you pick them up, bro? <laughs> you know, different expressions for different times, right? So that's that's the pendulum swing, all right? Cause and effect, all right? So cause and effect, 
Uh, basically, we all know what cause and effect is, but every cause has an effect. Every effect has its cause. So this is where, quote unquote, karma comes in. No one creates karma for you, right? The universe does not have anything called karma. In fact, if you study Hebrew, um, which is an ancient language, right? and you look at, um, you, you study their language, okay, chance is just a name for law, not recognized, but there are many, um, damn, what does that say? polarities of causation but nothing escapes the law okay so cause and effect you control your karma by what you do again if like i was using earlier if you're saying all men are trash guess what that's the effect you're gonna have if you're saying the universe provides guess what the universe provides if you're saying that um i i hate it here guess what the world will give you more things to hate if you're saying whatever you know if you're saying damn you know, Rob Blackstorm is an idiot. Then, guess what, Rob? So you don't do that. But what I all, what I'm saying, and I'm trying to use a little humor to say that you control your cause and effect. Let's go back to the kid stealing some a candy bar, right? So the cause was he just wanted to do it, A or B. He was hungry, right? So the effect might be that he gets caught, but the effect might mean that he gets away with the candy bar, right? Now, if the effect of him taking that candy bar is hurting someone, is causing the, the register to have to come out of pocket to pay for the candy bar because it's missing, is causing someone pain, is causing someone not to live, is causing someone not to grow in some way, shape, or form, then the effect of that action will come back to you. Because again, we live in a law of correspondence, okay? Polarity, all right? So the energy you give off we're magnets. We're magnetism. So magnets have two poles, negative and positive. We're electromagnetic beings. All right. And eventually, once you master the Kabbalion, your aura. This is Alex Gray. Alex Gray has some dope art. If you never, if you're not familiar with Alex Gray, something good to Google. You might want to put his screensaver. He's a white artist, but it's not about color. It's about spirit. And his uh, his his spiritual art is, is very dope. All right. This and this is like the chakra system. And I guess this um, particular website is basically showing you when you are showing you how these actually correspond, these seven hermetic principles actually correspond to the seven chakras, right? And you could deep dive. And I never, honestly, I never really looked at it like this, to be honest. Okay. So something I'm going to deep dive into and something you should too. Okay. And I can see that, you know, how the cause and effect corresponds to the root chakra right here. I can see how the law of rhythm corresponds to the gut. I can see how the law of gender corresponds to the soul plexus because you got to have right direction. You know who the fuck you are. Polarity, chakra, because we all exist. Um, and, and we art is a connective green. It's a connective color. So even though we're all connected, we all have different modes of expression, right? So I can see how that... So it all makes sense. Vibration, throat chakra, right? Speaking. Speaking out words, spells, vibration, okay? Uh, correspondence, third eye chakra, dealing with being critical, looking at how things correspond, looking at everything as above, so below, you know, looking at the stars and looking at the world. I always tell you, look at the cosmos first. And of course, our chakra, being the mental, okay? So, good information before I get into that. Once you, so the Mason, this is the what they got when they came in. This is baby food. Okay, this is like this is like Similac. Okay, this is what we taught on um, Plato and Aristotle's when they came over, and this and then they gave this version to the Greeks, right? But this is like entry level, this is the ABCs to spirituality. That's really what it is. It's the ABCs to spirituality. Okay, if y'all with me, man, type up, type prints in the, in the comments so I know y'all with me. Y'all can still hear me, y'all still flowing with me. Type prints in the comments. So I know, okay? And then we're going to go into this, um, we're going to go into this uh, Masonic tile, okay? And let me know y'all still there. Let me know y'all still there. Okay, 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 okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Vampire in Brooklyn years ago, he was good, good as evil, always stuck with me. Yes, yes, he is correct. That is the yin and yang principle. That's the yin and yang principle, Sean. So yeah, you're on it. You and that's telling what you already know. That's why you got that quote unquote Wahopra 
called the aha moment. All right. Got that spark of inspiration. That's that that's your DNA showing you who you really are. Whenever you like, oh, or oh, that's your DNA showing you who you really are and what you really are. Um, I posted um some hawkers from the um from the people of Hawaii, I believe the Polynesians, um, doing the hawkers in the Black Lives Matter protest. And a lot of people were like, yo, I feel chills. I feel, you know, reson it resonates with me. You know, I didn't feel those chills and that resonance. I just thought it was dope that they were doing it. But I told people, if you felt that resonance and you felt that energy, the reason being is because it's calling to you, right? So you should study that knowledge. You should see what that's about. You should get into that, that um, spiritual science. Because as a, if you feel it and it's giving you chills, that is your spirit, okay? Spirit means breath, all right? So if you're feeling chills about something, you know, sometimes you hear music, right? Like I'll hear Aretha Franklin sing gospel, right? And I still listen to gospel, you know? I don't, again, the whole God and Jesus thing, that's above me. Jesus is black in my head, so I program myself over time for Jesus to be black in my head. And I could take gospel and what you say Jesus and convert Jesus to Heru, to a Vishnu, right? To any other archetype that Jesus is. So I don't look at it. I extract the energy from it. I extract the energy from the gospel. So the chills that I get, I'm able to use to manifest different ideas and different thought forms from the gospel music. All the Jesus stuff, it doesn't matter. I can still listen to gospel and be happy. But if you get the chills about something, you definitely want to look into it. You definitely want to see, take some time to ponder it and see what it is about it that's giving you chills don't just dismiss it all right because it's important your body if your body is vibrating and you're not vibrating it it means something okay so when the free when when we let when we let um by we i mean the commissions the people of Kemet, the people of egypt of the mystery school when they let you in they gave you again the cabalion the you know the kabbalah which is baby food again I'm gonna say it again, baby food, the cabalion, and those those lessons of baby food. But you need to know them, right? We all need to start from that. But it was baby food to the Amishans, right? And I was once a baby too, so I had to read the cabalion. But it's baby food, what I'm saying is baby food to the commissions, the people have come at at that time. Now, when they let them in, they they learned that, okay? Those are the basics. And then they had to learn their flaws. Now, the checkerboard is the checkerboard that you see on this floor is means transformation if you look at yin and yang you see the same two colors the same two colors of black and white and it black and white just means transformation and it also has to deal with balance um the darkness was deal with 90 99.4 percent of the cosmos dark matter and dark energy right? and the light right which is what we see with these eyes right which is what we see at four percent but if you look at all the stars in the universe and the different galaxies, right, this is just what we see with the visible eye. But obviously there's more light out there that we cannot see, that scientists have not even been able to wrap their head on or probe or even go far enough to see. So there's a 50-50 split in the universe with light, visible light, and, and darkness, okay? But darkness is the source of all light. So that's why your ability skin is able to absorb more light and reduce this dark hue in this avatar than any other because you are on this planet to be a light bearer to give light that's why black people are so forgiving this is why we're so musical this is why we love to dance even when shit is going crazy look at these protests motherfuckers is dancing and stepping right it's a little crazy but this is the way we are used to battling. This is the way we are used to doing things, rain dancing and bringing forth lightning and bringing forth earthquakes through dancing, through drums, through different instruments, right? If you study African drumming, you'll, you'll see that there's drums for war, there's drums for peace, there's drums for earthquakes, there's drums for rain, there's drums for famine, there's drums even that will fuck your whole, um, you know, there's drums that will fuck your whole um, agriculture up. Like you won't yield, you know, certain fruit and stuff like that on your farm. That's how powerful certain drum patterns are that the Haitians use. And also people of, um, well, I won't go into that on YouTube, but research drums. You find a lot of interesting things. So, so the checkerboard transformation, yin and yang. Okay. Now, 
this D, this symbol, if you look at it just straight up, you could notice I'll show you some basic things. I'll show you your pineal gland. I'll show you your left brain and I will show you your right brain. OK, I'll show you these things right now. So let's go. Your, your right brain is feminine, is spiritual. Your right brain is the moon. OK, when you're dealing with the moon, you're dealing with the spiritual aspect of yourself. You're dealing with the reflection of your light, right? The reason we see the moon is because the sun is there. If there was no sun, we wouldn't see a moon or any stars. So the moon is a reflection of that. It's a reflection of that feminine energy. It's a reflection of that intuition. It's a reflection of your imagination. It's a reflection of um, creating what they would call illusions, right? For instance, if I see myself in a Maybach right now, right? And visualize myself and I could feel the leather seats and I could feel, you know, I could feel my feet on the steering wheel and I could see myself driving down the highway, you know, and I'm touching the roof or I could feel the matted roof and I, you know, the symbol is on, you know, all these things I could feel, you know, if I keep, that's not reality right that's not something that's tangible right now that's not something i could touch and feel right now but the more i generate that idea the more i put that idea in my head the more i generate this light this moonlight right in the frequency the universe is going to start to respond to my request and it's going to start throwing me opportunities it's going to start showing me things that i could do to get there it's going to start showing me ways to get enough money to get that made back right now it's up to me to take advantage but that is the reflection of the light of the sun and the moon being you beaming this also has to deal with again the right brain your imaginative brain your holistic brain your integrative brain right let's go over to your left brain which is the sun so what does the sun do? The sun gives light. The sun is expressive. The sun is logical. You know the sun is going to come out tomorrow, right? Like Annie says, you know, right now New York is dark, but tomorrow the sun will be out, right? So you know the sun is going to give you light. The sun is going to show you um, what's true. The sun is going to um, deal with what it is, right? The sun is an exposer. It exposes everything. What, you, what they say, what you do in the dark, always comes out in the light right so the sun exposes everything so this corresponds to the left brain the logical brain the segregative brain right the the right brain is four the left brain is two plus two say it again the right brain is four and the left brain is two plus two so if you look at the formulas that's how it works so that's why scientists a lot of scientists strictly deal with the left side of their brain they strictly deal with what they can see not the unseen not the hidden they strictly deal with what they can see so they have to have a, a tangible instrument. They have to have something to measure so that they can see what is real. Quantum mechanics or light mechanics, right? I told you quantum means light. Light is photons. So light mechanics is the science of um, basically seeing the unseen, right? It's really an integration of those two, of these two principles. And it's not, um, it's not coincidental that quantum mechanics and quantum physics and this whole, you know, quote unquote uprising and the chaos that's happened in this year, 2020 with these new scientific discoveries that they're not, um, it's not coincidence that they're both, they're, they're running concurrent to each other, right? Cause we're getting to the mystery school way of thinking. Okay. So now, so when the initiate looks at this, this is what he sees, right? He looks at this and he sees, his left brain and his right brain. Okay. So I'm breaking this down. There's nothing demonic about this. There's nothing evil about this. There's nothing. I don't care what your favorite Pharaoh told you on YouTube. There's nothing devilish about this. This is just stolen legacy misused and misappropriated for evil ends. That's all. But this does not mean, and I'm not saying for evil ends, like, right. Let me say this. The intent, of the people who started America, right? The 13 colonies or whatever, even though they came here with motherfucking smallpox and killed the Native Americans, quote unquote, Indians and all that shit, right? That's war, okay? Commissions 
committed, went to war to conquer lands. People conquer that war. There is never going to have people in their own house warring for blocks that they don't even own. People are warring in, in their own complexes. People are warring within trailer parks. People are going to war everywhere, okay? People are warring in Chinatown. All Chinese people, different different gangs, the triads versus this gang, right? So people go to war. It's just, it's natural, right? How you go to war and the way... So, yes, Americans did some fucked up shit. You know, the, the initial colonies, the pilgrims, right? They did some fucked up shit. But their intention was to break free that got deposed here. Remember, America was a prison first and foremost. And I talked about this in another video. I won't go into depth. But you could just do some research. America was a prison colony for the British at one point. And it was a monarchy, right? The king and queen said what goes. And there was no type of democracy. There was no nothing. So the original pilgrims and the ones that settled here and wrote constitution, which is based on something called the Iroquois Confederacy. It's really an Indian um, document. So look up the Iroquois Confederacy and you'll see that's where the uh, original constitution comes from. Uh, but they originally set up under Freemasonry. They knew about the Mystery School, the Knights Templars, right? The ones that came over here, the Rosicrucians, right? They knew about the Comitian Mystery Schools. They studied and they hid the knowledge. Remember, they were burning witches at one point in Europe. They were burning witches at the stake. They were killing anyone who had any knowledge of any magic. So this had to be hidden, right? So people that were European hid the knowledge. They hid the magic. So they hid the magic in things like this that you see here. They hid the magic under Freemasonry. They hid the magic under the Baphomet, which everybody's scared of, which makes no sense because it's just a fucking image. But we've been taught, and I was scared in the beginning, so I can't say it doesn't make sense. But we've been taught to be scared of things that we don't understand, and we shouldn't. We should just explore things that we don't understand. There's nothing to fear as your but fear itself. So getting back to this all right so this eye is the same eye you see on your dollar bill the eye of providence this is your third eye okay very simply your third eye your third eye consists of your penal gland um your thalamus and your pituitary gland i know i know i know you've been taught that in your pineal gland but it's not your pineal gland you get from your melatonin and it does give you your visions your pituitary gland secretes hormones through your body and your thalamus or your hypothalamus regulates those hormones. So I'm going to repeat that. Your pineal gland gives you the vision. It gives you the imagination. It gives you the intuition. Normally, you get these things when you are in a heightened frequency or during your sleep because your body is completely at rest and now all you have is your thoughts to function. You don't have to worry about um, you know, uh, you know, somebody coming to hurt you or somebody coming to attack you. Your body is at full rest. That's why if someone passes a loved one or something, you could usually dream them up because you are in that state of supreme balance, so to speak, right? You're in a data to delta wave brain wave state. So your frequency is lowered. Your breath rate has slowed to the point where you are just a receptive vehicle for frequency. So a lot of people have different dreams, you know, dealing with, um, you know, some people have uh, 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 people, you know, certain entities having sex with the in the dream world. Sometimes people wake up with scars and cuts when they will when they will awaken from the dream world, right? So these are people that really should master or learn to master astral traveling, because the reason that this thing keeps happening is because you are unprotected, and you have to figure out how to protect yourself. And the one way you learn how to protect yourself is knowing how to go in the astral realm and fight shit off in the astral realm. Right. And that's you being aware of your own self in the dream world. Different science for a different day. So the third eye is, again, consists of those three things. So now, you know, Rob Blackstone told you it's not just the pineal gland. Pineal gland gives you those thoughts. It gives you those images. It gives you those downloads. But then it has to go through the pituitary gland. It has to secrete those hormones through your body so that you can feel what you have sensory experience of these things. And then your thalamus is just the regulator. It's just the balancer, right? It's Thanos holding someone, showing Gamora fucking balance, all right? So those two, so those three things are explained, all right? We explained the four, all right? Let's look at these towers, all right? These two pillars. Now, when you first come in, the twin pillars, all right, you have strength, 
We all know what strength is, okay? And beauty. We all know what beauty is. But the middle pillar is the pillar, if you notice, it's the furthest. And the middle pillar is the furthest because how many people get to the point where they are in balance, where they're not seeing, where they're not Democrat, Republican, you know, man, woman, uh, right, left, uh, you know, whatever stupid, black, white, you know, all these differences that are put in the um, ecosystem. And let me say this. As I speak, I am not accusing or recusing or excusing Caucasians for the atrocities that they committed. That is not my, my point. My point is to show that we are all avatars. So if you were white, in a, you could be white in a past life. You could have been Chinese in a past life. You could have been purple in a past life, right? The fact that you are in this life as a melanated being is a privilege. It's an honor. It is a an upgrade, okay? But this is, but again, this is not about your flesh. This is about how you choose to use your vehicle because there's white people that are in Freemasonry and that know the sciences and that are doing this stuff and looking at it the same way I'm looking at it and using it as a tool to better themselves. Again, this is nothing demonic. Nothing that I told you is demonic so far. Nothing that I told you is evil. Nothing that I told you is is, is going to stop you from growing or stop you from shining. Okay? So we need to, so I'm doing this to demystify this shit for y'all. All right? So strength okay is a left brain principle you exerting yourself you being active there's there's um aggressive and receptive or active and reactive right outer penis inner vagina okay so they're all they're both relevant okay and if you're just coming in please hit that like button um you can hit my cash app dollar sign rob black storm seven all right. But if you can't hit the cash app, at least hit the like button. All right. It helps other people get this knowledge because this is the time. We all need to demystify this shit. So strength, left brain principle, active principle, left hand principle. OK. If if you're like most people are right. Well, I ain't going to say most people. I'm right handed. So my left, my right is more of my receptive hand. Right. It's the hand that I drive with. Right. It's the hand that I do a lot of things with. But it's my receptive hand. My left hand is like a going out hand. You know, it's like a hot hand to bring shit in or whatever. So it's just corresponding to and I'm well, maybe that didn't make sense. Right. <laughs> but um, what I'm saying is there's difference of the brain that is being used. So strength is an is a, um external thing. Right. When you're displaying strength. Yes, it starts from your internal source, from your internal sun, but it is displayed externally. So what you have here on the bottom of the strength is i believe that's called um and don't get me wrong i believe that's called a plume and what this shows what this where this is here is it's showing that you have to in order to get strength you have to this is really you could look at this and say it's critical thinking right because this in regular masonry and i'm talking about brick masonry is something that you separate um like you separate concrete or you separate sand or you separate whatever material you're using Right. So this is a critical analysis, like which is what the left brain does. The left brain is what deciphers, you know, blue from yellow and yellow from green and green from orange. The right brain is like it's the rainbow. Right. The right brain is like, oh, it's a bag of skittles. Right. But the left brain is like, no, there's red skittles, there's green skittles, there's yellow skittles. Right. So those are the two. So that's a part of this example. Given you all night. OK, so skittles. Right. When you get a bag of Skittles, that's right brain when you get um uh, uh when you take out the skills and get a green skittle that's left brain okay so strength is, is a representative of that this deals with critical thinking so that's why that plume is to separate the bullshit right to separate oh should i be fucking worried about what kyrie irving is doing right should i be worried about what Beyonce is doing i don't know whatever celebrity is popping right now whatever celebrity gossip is out there today i didn't really check I didn't really go into Matrix too much today, but whatever's out there, you know, whatever distraction is out there for you, you know, man hating, women hating, you know, are you being critical? Because this is your strength and this is how you build up your spiritual power and this is how you are able to display your spiritual power in the world. 
So that's what this is for, okay? So again, nothing evil, nothing demystifying. These are the principles that the founding fathers that left England, left the royal family, left the monarchy, this is what they started with. This is what they used. This is what they stole, I should say, all right? And <laughs> for real, this is what they stole. But anyway, beauty, okay? Look at this pillar, all right? Look at the top. You notice it looks different, okay? And some, uh, and I'm using this one, but on, on some... Um, what do they call these? They call these um, aprons, right? So on some aprons, you'll see globes on top of these, um, two different globes. And for time, I won't get into the two different globes, but, well, I'll get into a little bit. One globe will be the earth, which symbolizes water. So the earth will always sit on top of this pretty globe, right? Always. And then you'll have another globe with symbols that's sitting on top of this one, which deals with fire, which deals with you, with the energy that you exert out there all right into the world so the earth is the watery element the receptive element the feminine element and this is the masculine element or the active element okay bag of skittles one skittle okay so at, at the bottom of beauty of course this would be a feminine thing right masculine feminine okay left brain right brain okay if you look my other video soul spirit okay now Beauty is now. This is what you do with beauty. Is you would measure it. All right. You see what's beautiful for you. This um, I forgot what this is called, but I believe it's a level. That's exactly what it is. It's a level, and levels basically when you put a level, you're laying bricks just as a regular Freemason, not a spiritual Freemason, but a regular Freemason, a bricklayer. You put the level on to make sure things are even, to make sure things are balanced, to make sure things are holistic, to make sure things are unified. So all your bricks are laid unified so you have a strong foundation, right? So that's what the level is under beauty because beauty is really just you, you, your foundation is going to lead to your beauty. The way you think about things, your imagination, right? Your moonlight will lead to your beauty. The way you process things in your vision is going to lead to your beauty outside. But it has to be level, right? It can't be where you're just running outside naked, right? Or where you think, oh, I'm a sacred whore. You know, let me show my body off on Instagram and just talk about sex every post, right? <laughs> like, that's... Now, let me say this to that. There is... Again, we all incarnate. So some people... In their past lives were whores. Nothing wrong with that. Kings and queens had, you know, bathhouses, primarily kings. In a, in a masculine society, there were bathhouses where the king would go and sleep with different whores. You see it in Game of Thrones and you see it in damn near every, uh, what do they call those, uh, time pieces or his, historical movies. I forgot the name of them, but what, they, what the actual genre is called. But you'll see that they all have bathhouses. They always went to the whorehouse. They always had women different than from the wife. Okay? So that's that feminine energy as well, that expression that needs to be uh, cultivated, you know? Because we all need beauty. We all need... And beauty also corresponds with love, right? Love levels us out. Love is really empathy displayed as compassion. So when someone empathizes with you, they look out for you. They make sure you're all right. They feed you. They give you good advice. Um, they can relate when you're sick. They can relate when you're hurt, you know, and vice versa. You do that same thing for them. That is beauty, okay? That is leveling, all right? That is balance, okay? Yes, Lady Noble, you are your own savor. That is facts. You, only you, all right? So that is the beauty that is in you. So again, nothing evil, nothing demonic. I ain't tell you nothing about Satan yet. I ain't tell you nothing about the deep state yet. None of that. Okay. So, um, and okay. I don't know what me devil is, but maybe you could school me in my inbox or something. I never heard. That. But anyway, ain't nothing about this devilish. So when the initiate comes in, he has to first master these two principles. He could get to the third eye principle. First, you have to master those two principles or you cannot enter the doors of the mystery school. Okay, so the initiate would first have to get those things on point. 
and again, the checkerboard is a symbol of transformation. If you look at a lot of mi music videos, if after this, you know, you Google um, the checkerboard in music, you'll see a lot of videos, a ton of videos, a ton of um, imagery that is used where the checkerboard is used against you. Now, remember what I always tell you about magic is magic can be used. Oh, medieval. Okay. Yes. Medieval. Good, good answer. Yeah, medieval time periods. Thank you for that. Yes, medieval time period movies. Thank you for that. Um, and so they okay, I lost my train of thought. So the initiate would come in, right? They going through this. They on the checkerboard again. The checkerboard just deals with transformation, black and white, yin and yang, um, and balance. Most importantly, because you got to be balanced. You can't be believing in good and evil, right? Anymore. Because those two things are concepts that don't really exist, right? Those two things are concepts that are used for men. Now, you might say, now, let's talk about this a little bit before I go into this. Now, you might say, oh, well, Rob Blackstone, what about the people that touch babies? What are the people that are abusive? What about the people that are just violent murderers? Are those people evil? Oh, I'm going to tell you why. Because sometimes people had childhoods, as we saw, in, if you watch the Joker movie, sometimes people have childhoods that we don't know about. And we don't know what the fuck they went through. So we don't know what influenced them to become who they are and what they are and how come they are. People like to demonize people that are rapists. People like, like to, and I'm not saying I agree with that shit. I'm not saying none of that shit is cool and, you know, or anything like that. But what I am saying is we have, there's also a cause for these things. So that's their mode of expression. They chose to go to that form of expression their circumstances some people go through the same similar incidents that these rapists and pedophiles or whatever go through and they never go and choose that form of expression so it is always even though you get these influences it's always a personal choice on how you choose to express yourself all right so good and evil is a choice all right evil is when you're holding something back when you're push, pushing things back if you want to define it as evil when you're not causing things to grow Good is when you help things grow, when you help bring life to things, when you bring inspiration and you, when you bring growth. And also good is defending yourself. Also good is going to war and knocking somebody out or killing somebody who's trying to kill you. Right. So and some would say that was evil because you didn't turn the other cheek. Right. Some some say it's evil when you don't peaceful protest. OK, so good and evil. We got to really look at it from a different lens. Um, and I look at it like live and evil. If can I live? If you stop me from living, you stop me from growing, then that's evil. But um, and that's the only thing. Everything else, if you're fucking with kids and you're fucking with a vulnerable population or you're fucking with elderly people, you know, you're taking advantage of people that don't know better. You give them sign shitty contracts and, and, you know, bogus shit and you're selling them fucking snake oil. You know, you're stopping people from growing. So that's evil. That's bad so to speak but as far as the concept of good and bad it doesn't really exist it's expressions of different modes of energy that's it okay so the initiate would first and then the first thing that's laid on the floor is a book because the initiate has to study okay you have to be well read you have to be well versed you have to know what you're talking about you have to learn your degrees the reason that they're called degrees, right, Masonic degrees for, from one to the 33 and the third, right? The reason that they're called degrees is because when you are heating up, when you level up, especially when you start, when all y'all start to step into your spiritual powers, if you haven't already, one of the first things you'll realize is your body starts to cook, right? You see a lot of preachers when going into it, they start to sweat and heat up. When you are passionate about something, you start to heat up. When you're mad, you heat up, right? So that heat is representative of degrees, of raising degrees, of rising in frequency. When you are hot, you are emitting water vapor. Water vapor it evaporates, it goes across, it turns gold forms, it goes into the clouds, clouds go across the planet, yada, yada, yada. So, but what I'm saying is degrees deal with heat, the degrees of vibration, degrees of frequency. Right. So that's why they go in degrees. So you had to learn your degrees. Right. Then once you start to learn your degrees after your left and right brain, your strength and beauty, you've already polished that up. You realize that that shit is really nothing. Right. Strength and beauty is really not the big deal. Right. 
the you being a powerful person, you having the most money, you being the looking person, having the best body, and you know people love you and people clicking, you know, three thousand uh, hearts on your selfies, right? <laughs> you know, you realize that those things are not the most important thing, and then you start to get into them degrees, you start to get into these books, you start to these studies, what we're doing now, right? So you get there, boom. Then you have this gentleman. All right, he is on a ladder. The ladder is represented of Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder in the Bible, what he said in is that he saw angels going up and down this ladder. All right, going from heaven, ascending to earth. To give you a visual, uh, the movie Thor, when Thor would uh, draw a sigil on the ground every time he went up the Rainbow Bridge, right? So it's uh, basically this is a represent that's a rep door going on the Rainbow Bridge going to Asgard is a representative of um, this Jacob's ladder. Now, if you notice on the bottom, you see a woman again with another book. In this book, she has a square and a compass. Okay, now the compass represents the phallus or the male penis. The square represents the woman or the feminine energy principle, right, or the vagina. Nobody probably ever told you that. You probably just saw the square in the compass and said, okay. But it's also double meanings because the square also means, if you're familiar with the nation of gods and the earths, they'll tell you the square means, you know, standing on your foundation, standing on your root. What are you rooted in? You know what I'm saying? Are you rooted in truth? Are you rooted in righteousness? Are you rooted in wickedness? Are you rooted in bullshit? Are you rooted in not helping people live? Are you rooted in evil, right? So it's what are you rooted in? Uh, and the compass or the phallic, part is how are you expressing what you're rooted in how you expressing your foundation as they say a tree is known by the fruit that it bears all right so this woman in yellow is dealing with your sacral chakra okay your direction how do you express yourself okay that's why she's a representative of that and this is the inner person whenever you're dealing with females and spirituality you're always dealing with the inner self so that's why a female is there okay as you see, this is also going up the wisdom uh, pillar, and we'll get into that in a second. Now, you see going up, you're looking at a woman in green, okay? That is also the heart chakra. And she is holding a key. And the reason she is holding a key is because once you realize that you are one with everything, and everything is one with you, including the universe, including the stars, including the planet itself, then you now realize that you can manipulate the universe through your thoughts, through your ideas, through your voice, through your spell work, through your altars, through the way you move in the universe. And you start to see those things start to come back and manifest. You know, that's the law of attraction, one-on-one, right? And then you start to gain wisdom. So that's why this wisdom pillar is very important. But the entryway of wisdom is your square and your compass, you uniting with the masculine and feminine with you, within you, the right and brain, right and left brain, you know, not just looking at things from a logical perspective and also not just being so far out that you think everything is fucking mystical and spiritual because it's not. You live in a 3D world. You got to show strength. You got to show who you are. You got to display your power. You got to follow your dream and live your purpose, okay? And there's beauty in that, you know, and there's beauty in seeing that before it even happens. There's beauty in seeing the iPhone before it was created. And once the iPhone was created, there's strength, okay? And those two things bring about wisdom, okay? You, you, with knowledge comes wisdom. So you, you become wise. You're able to dodge bullets. You're able to see things before they come. That's wisdom, all right? So that heart chakra, that key to wisdom is you getting in your studies, you knowing about yourself, you squaring yourself up. That's why also on the bottom here, you see the square and compass, which is right here as well. And then you're going up to the highest point where that is. See if you could see it here. Yeah, you could kind of see it. So you see she has babies, right? She's giving birth, right? She's giving birth to children. Um, and if you look at the color, that color is gold, all right? So basically, this would be her giving birth to new life, to new things, or you giving birth to new things. Once you have the keys, you manifesting your babies, you manifesting your creation, you manifesting your wishes, you manifesting your goals, you manifesting your intentions, you manifesting your magic. Okay. 
Now, I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm not telling you to be moral. I'm not telling you to be immoral. What I am telling you is that if you're not serving life, if you are not um, helping, inspiring others, if you are not being creative and creating things, if you are not um, uplifting yourself and uplifting others, but uplifting yourself first and foremost, then you will wither away and you'll be reincarnated again. That's it. Plain and simple. You're either going to go uh, die and become a star, become starfire, right, and shine your light and help uh, and help the universe, or you're going to be recycled back on this planet, on this testing ground, and you're going to go back into this basic construction before leaving Earth and do this whole shit over again until you get it right. That's it. That's it. So sometimes the good die young because they did their work. And that, that's it. Now it's time for them to be, become enlightened ancestors and help your ass. So when you put them on an altar and call on them, you could channel them. All right. So this is giving birth, you know, to your babies, to your creations. Again, did I tell you anything about Freemasonry that could be misconstrued as evil or manipulative? No, it's the way you look at it. OK, so wisdom. All right. That's why this wisdom pillar is under the third eye, because this is when you're balanced, where you know which energy you use. And again, you can't always be love and light. Sometimes you got to be darkness. Sometimes you got to be evil to an evil motherfucker. Sometimes you got to manipulate a motherfucker that's off. But the moon doesn't necessarily mean darkness, even though it's darkness. It just means that you're going within. When you're using your candles, when you're doing your rituals, when you're working with your altars, you're going within. Okay, and also these two things at the bottom, um, they are uh, the two pillars. So there's also two instruments up there for time because I'm going on like almost two hours, so I want to cut this short. But this is basically um, the strength. You notice next to strength is this unpolished, and next to beauty there's a polished stone. And these two are basically people, right? Once you start to come into your strength, you start to polish, you start to clean up yourself. They call, the gods call that, or nation of gods of earth, they would say the number five, power and refinement, right? Because there's power in refinement, there's power in change, there's power in transformation, right? And then you become beautiful, right? You start to display yourself. Like when people come home from prison, right? Because they've been in the air and they've been eating good and they've been sleeping well. You have, you, they've been working out. They have that glow, right? They have that beauty because they're in a purified state, even though they were incarcerated, right? They weren't dealing with these toxins of the world and the stress of going back and forth the world. They were able to rest, take care of themselves, hopefully eat better than they did in the free world. And, and there you sit, you go, you see the glow, all right? And that's what Bruce Leroy was talking about, too, catching the glow, all right? That beauty that comes from you exhibiting your strength and comes from you polishing yourself up, all right? But when you're on the basic scale, you're still caught in between the polarities instead of using the polarities for this. Um, and these you could look up. I ain't going to go into them. But I want to break this down for you guys because this is something that people always talk about and you can look at but i've given you these things you could do your own research and looking at other um apprentice um aprons and look at other aprons you could just type in freemasonry and look at other aprons and i've given you kind of a blueprint for you to understand the imagery that is there and you'll realize that inherently freemasonry isn't evil but when you have people like the skull and bones and people like the knights templar and people like you know, all these different societies that are connected to presidents where they're sacrificing people on Easter Island, you know, and killing babies and, you know, doing these strange rituals. They're not using this. They're not using this for good. They're using it for evil. And it's just like having a super heru, right? Super H-E-R-U or super villain, right? That's where the word hero comes from heru, right? Or what they, the Greeks call Horus, super heru, the superhero. Or you could be a super villain. Supervillains have powers, just like superheroes have powers. Again, supervillains have powers, just like superheroes have powers, right? But it all depends on how you choose to utilize your energy on each one of these pillars. Which pillar is for what time? Are you just deep into the, the dark pillar all the time? Is that what you work with all the time? 
or do you work with the light pillow all the time or do you utilize each one when necessary all right that's all i got for y'all right now <laughs> uh, i hope this was enlightening i hope this um helped people see things differently i know some of y'all favorite um youtubers are telling y'all that freemasonry is bad and it's evil and it's wicked and blah 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 again it all depends on how you use it but again the initial intention of freemasonry was not for that this is stolen legacy um real quick let's pull up my let's what i want because i wanted to pull this up so let's do y'all are right out there i know this was long i promise you i'll be done in a second Okay, I still got y'all like that. Thank you for the likes, okay? I appreciate y'all. All right. So, Stolen Legacy. Okay, this is a good book, too. George G. James. All right. I'm going to see if I could get... I just want to show you... Now, there is a free PDF. Okay. I'm sure somewhere. I recommend you getting a book because something about getting books, when you touch books, they have certain energy. And also, let's say the power goes out and the internet for some reason gets wiped out. You don't got no physical books. So you won't have no way of even knowing that this really happened, right? It will be a way of erasing history if everything is digital. So keep that in mind. So books are important, physical books. And also you want to support the authors too. You know, if you can, if you can't, that's a different story. You know, don't get the book. But if you can get the book, it's very, um, it's uh, important that we support our authors. But they had, um, okay, full, this is what I was looking for. Wrap this up soon. Do, 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 do. Okay, so in this, George G. James, he says, Greek philosophy is stolen Egyptian philosophy. And it is, all right? Greek philosophy was the spring of the Egyptian mystery system, which it is, okay? The Egyptian educated the Greeks. The effects of the purge. Okay, you could go through this book on your own. I just, I literally just showed you how to pull it up on Google and just read through it. All right, this is literally the breakdown of it. Um, yeah, this is actually, I didn't, I kind of skimmed through this, but this is actually very good. All right, so you could kind of see what I'm saying in here, right? And I didn't even tell you how it ties into Kabbalah, really. But let me just show you. Um, and this is going to bug you out how Freemasonry when it relates to the Kabbalah, which is the Jewish spiritual mystery. Still. And so, yeah, okay. Let's see. Virtues, justice, wisdom, temperance, and courage. It is indeed surprising how for centuries the Greeks have been praised by the Western world for intellectual accomplishments, which belong without a doubt to the Egyptians or the peoples of North Africa. Okay. And there's plenty of fucking um reference material that he talks about he has plenty of links well before links he has books right but this is something you could easily if you just do the knowledge and study this you'll be able to um yeah this is the whole book so i won't go into it but he breaks down and, and lastly i'm gonna show you a picture i'm gonna show you all a picture of of what's that right there that's the Star of David, right? That's what the Jews use, right? We'll get into we'll get into that another time. But you needed this foundation before I get and then we'll we'll discuss the Kabbalah, we'll discuss Jewish mysticism next. So look out for that. And that's probably going to come next week. So I have a I, I'm gonna be doing oh, and shout out to the people who signed up. We're definitely doing a class on Saturday, Uncut Gems Decoded. You guys see the code from pretty in depth, and these things will help you in your day to day life. So, if you want to sign up, you haven't signed up, it's only $10. We'll be doing that on Zoom on Saturday at tomorrow afternoon to the evening. So, um, I have some of y'all send me the email. Uh, that if you did donate already, send me an email. If you didn't, um, you can hit my cash app dollar sign Rob Blackstorm7. That's dollar sign Rob Blackstorm7. If you can't donate, just hit the like button. Um, that helps me as well. It helps this message get around to other people. Like, share, subscribe. These are long, so it's best to probably catch me on live than to catch the replay. 
but I'm going to start doing some more recorded ones as well. But Spirit just told me to kind of deep dive into some of this stuff. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Um, subscribe. I love y'all. No questions today because it's kind of late. But you guys always know I take questions anyway. But anyway, I love y'all again. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the love. Um, then thank you for tuning in. You know, I was the weirdo kid all my life. That I never thought anybody would want to listen to things like this. So the fact that I even have, you know, 20 of y'all in here that want to listen to me, man, I appreciate y'all so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, peace, power, prosperity to y'all. Rob Blackstone. I'm out. <laughs>